BlackFacts.com presents, Native American Icons, Tecumseh. Tecumseh was a Shawnee Native American chief, who organized a confederation of tribes to resist white settlement. Tecumseh was born around 1768 in south-central Ohio near present-day Chillicothe. He grew up amidst the border warfare that ravaged the Ohio Valley in the last quarter of the 18th century. His father, Puckashinwa, a minor war chief, was killed in the Battle of Point Pleasant during the French and Indian War. His mother, Methoatask, left him to be raised by his older sister, as she migrated with other Shawnees to Missouri. During his teenage years, Tecumseh joined a confederation of Native Americans led by Mohawk chief, Joseph Brandt. Brandt encouraged tribes to pool their resources and defend their territory against the white man's encroachment. In 1791, Tecumseh led a scouting party against U.S. General Arthur St. Clair at the Battle of the Wabash, where 952 of 1,000 American soldiers were killed. In June 1794, Tecumseh has led an unsuccessful attack against Major General Anthony Wayne at Fort Recovery, and two months later, his force was decidedly defeated at the Battle of Fallen Timbers. Tecumseh was so bitter about the defeat that he refused to attend the subsequent negotiations or to acknowledge the Treaty of Greenville. He sharply criticized the peace chiefs who signed away land that he believed wasn't theirs to give, asserting that the land was like the air and water, a common possession of all Native Americans. In 1808, Tecumseh traveled with a few hundred tribesmen to what is now Indiana and joined his brother, Tenskwatawa, who had recently become a prominent Native American religious leader known as the Prophet. Using his superior oratory skills, Tecumseh transformed his brother's religious following into a political movement, discouraging Native Americans from assimilation into the white world. Tecumseh began recruiting different tribes throughout the Northwest Territory and the Southern United States. On June 1, 1812, the United States Congress declared war on Great Britain, Tecumseh moved his small band of warriors to Michigan to assist British Major General Sir Isaac Brock in the Siege of Detroit. In the spring of 1813, Tecumseh joined British Major General Henry Proctor, and together they led their respective forces in the siege of Fort Meigs, which was commanded by Tecumseh's old nemesis William Henry Harrison. When Harrison's forces counterattacked, Proctor and Tecumseh retreated farther into Canada. Though Proctor promised Tecumseh he would send reinforcements, they never showed up. On October 5, 1813, Tecumseh's small 500-man force was overrun by Harrison's 3,000-man army and Tecumseh was killed. Tecumseh's death marked the decline of Native American resistance in the Ohio River Valley and most of the Middle and Southern United States. During his life, Tecumseh's political leadership, compassion, and bravery attracted the respect of friends and foes alike, and in the time since mythology has developed around him, that has transformed him into an American folk hero. Learn black history, teach black history at blackfacts.com.